So I'm working Radio D and I'm monitoring Radio D. Radio D is the, uh, is the HF, the 5800. The RF 5800. from the same radio. Uh, the K2, uh, Zulu, Juliet, no copy. Uh, very, I could tell Justin, KA3TIN, was in there, but, but could not copy. So that's the situation from 70 miles away here. Uh, I'm transmitting about 100 watts on a low, uh, a low doublet antenna, and like I say, receiving on a a 15-foot loop that's positively on the ground, and that, that beats the city noise some. So, uh, back to you, Ray, uh, W3-Alpha and 3-FRQ. All right, Al, and 3-FRQ, this is Whiskey-3-Alpha. On to Kilo Delta 2 Fox Mike. Kilo Delta 2 Fox Mike, and if somebody can let me know when he's done, I am not copying him. Over to you. Anyhow, so 
Thanks for running the net. Walter will be around here for phase two. Uh, W3 Alpha. This is Kilo Kilo, one kilo, six portable three. All right, Kilo Kilo, one kilo. This is Whiskey 3 Alpha. Your signal is 5-9 at our location. Excellent copy and good audio. With that, I'll move on to Eugene at Whiskey 2 Hotel X-Ray. Take it away. Okay, W3A, Walt, this is Eugene, Whiskey 2 Hotel X-Ray. Thanks for the running the net, and I'll just give a brief report. I am located at the top of uh, Big Pocono. Uh, we are uh, in the smaller uh, parking lot with the fire uh, lookout tower. There's just nobody in this one, whereas the main, uh, the main parking lot was packed, jam-packed. It was nary a uh, space to be had. Uh, and we are, uh, so we are, we're in a great location. We are running an, an inverted V with the uh, center insulator of the dipole up about 30 feet on my mast, on the Raycal mast attached to the side of the, of the truck. And we are running a Harris RF5800H into uh, in, with a, about 150 watt amplifier and I'm happy to hear a signal report. Sorry I got onto the net late. I would have loved to hear uh, other people but I thought we were I thought it was supposed to do 51 megahertz first. So having said that I'll pass it back to net. Uh, Walt W3A this is W2HX over. All right W2HX. Good signal 5-9 excellent audio and um Probably uh, best signal heard for my location today. So net control is operating a GRC 106. Uh, it's mounted in uh, Ray's uh, M151 mutt, uh, and we're into a dipole, uh, which is uh, about 16 feet off the ground. Uh, cut the length dipole. So with that, let's uh, see if there is any additional check-ins for the first round of the Moose and Squirrel. Any additional check-ins, please call now. Over. I couldn't copy very well, uh, but again, my antenna is the best for this 80-meter dipole uh, that manages to load up. Uh, and uh, your signal, uh, W3A, is uh, very nice and it stays nice. This is Whiskey for Alpha. Thanks for the contact, and uh, yeah, you're still still sounding good here. Kilo, Charlie 8, Kilo, Bravo, Kilo. What's your favorite radio and any signal reports you may have? Over. This is Kilo, Charlie 8, Kilo, Bravo, Kilo. Favorite radio, I'm going to have to go with my UK uh, British Army TRC320 because I bought it when I was stationed in the UK a couple of years ago. It's a fantastic radio, and there's a really vibrant community of people who use them um, in, in Europe and Australia. And uh, they're a little bit more mainstream, I found, in the amateur radio community over there than, uh, than green radio is over here. So, so that was fun. That's my pick, PRC320. All right, I have to agree with you on that. That's one of my more favorite ones. But anyway, this is uh, Whiskey 3 Alpha. All clear with Kilo Charlie 8, Kilo Bravo Kilo. Moving on to Kilo 3 Tango Zulu Juliet on the 1099. Log all the contacts. Mostly for the, the benefit of this is to give the other people on the net a signal report. So I can tell, you know, KW1I has sounded great, or I can tell. You know, KB2, LRI, that his signal was about strength of about S3, which is a signal strength, uh, and not fully quieting the band. We can, we can give signal reports, which helps people work on their setups, work on their antennas, their audio systems, etc. All right. Kilo 3, Tango Zulu Juliet. That was Ron. We're moving on to Kilo Alpha 3, Tango India November. Do you still have a copy on us mobile? Over. Yeah, Whiskey 3 Alpha, Kilo Alpha 3, Tango, India, November, Mobile. Yep, still got a good copy. You're actually a great copy now. Just got off of 476 and I'm headed, uh, headed on 209 uh, now, so uh, make it pretty good time. Uh, didn't have a lot of good copy on uh, most of the stations. I could hear Eugene, uh, no problem copying him, but... Uh, Pretty much everybody else was a rough copy. So, uh, I'll let you continue on. Whiskey 3 Alpha, Key 
Kilo Alpha 3, Tango, India November, Mobile. All right, that control is clear with Kilo Alpha 3, Tango, India November. On to Whiskey Alpha 2, Echo, Juliet, Tango. Take it away. Okay, this is WA2HAT at the Hall Building. A couple of comments. Uh, my brother, I could uh, just uh, just about copy him, but uh, pretty weak uh, uh, just at the noise level here. And uh, KA3TIN is getting uh, pretty close now, within about 10 miles probably, and was uh, nicely readable here. And finally, uh, as, as uh, far as a favorite military set is concerned, mine goes back a little bit and would be the, well, one of my favorites, the uh, U.S. Navy Type GF aircraft transmitter and the matching uh, Type RU receiver. Rather primitive by today's standards, but uh, really interesting equipment and lots of fun to use. Oh, I did want to add that I was also hearing uh, Dean, KK1K, weak but uh, readable here. So that's it from the Howell building. Uh, this is WA2EJT. Over. All right, WA2EJT. This is Whiskey 3 Alpha. Net control for the Moose and Squirrel Net. Field portable exercise. Moving on to N3 FRQ and his loop on ground antenna. You're coming in great, Al. Just take it away. Hi, uh, W3 Alpha. I am 3 FRQ. Well, uh, favorite military radio for this kind of operation would be PRC 104, mainly because I own one and it's been good to me over the years. But I think most favorite of of the radios I own is the RCA MI-8751. That was the so-called Swedish set, the prototype for the uh, BC-474 uh, uh, does CW and AM a couple of watts, and uh, it was light enough to lug around back in the World War II era. So that's, that's one of my favorites. So back to that M3 FR. Oh, by the way, uh, I'm... I've been recording the proceedings here by way of a, uh, a web SDR. Uh, I think maybe I'm hearing better than it is, but we'll maybe have some uh, some recordings uh, on the website after this is all over. And uh, just a reminder, hope somebody takes some pictures. So uh, back to that N3 FRQ. Okay, N3 FRQ on the mic and recording. Excellent. And, uh, yeah, your signal is steady and really no drop from your first time around. So that antenna is doing you quite well. Okay, on to Kilo Delta 2, Foxtrot, Mike. And if somebody can let me know when he's done, uh, let's see if we can hear him this time. Over to you. Okay, very good, Walt. Whiskey 3 Alpha, Whiskey 3 Alpha. This is Kilo Delta 2, Golf, Foxtrot, Mike. That's GFM. Portable 3, outside the Howell building. Uh, Justin's signal, K3TIN, came up quite a bit. I had about 80% copy on him that time. Uh, got a pretty good copy on Al up in New Jersey. So N3FRQ, you're getting through the main line. Uh, other than that, not too much change from the first time around. Uh, hoping more people can hear me, so we'll keep it short since my location is, is not exactly optimal. Turn it back to you. Whiskey 3 Alpha, Whiskey 3 Alpha, this is Kilo Delta 2, Ball Fox Drive Line, Portable 3. Over. Go ahead. Relay. Okay, very good. Clear with Kilo Delta 2, Fox Drive Mike. Again, no copy on him this time. Um, let's move on to Ray. I'm using his radio. He's out wandering around there with a PRC-47. K3, EKH. Take it away, Ray.
So you can hear his off frequency. W3A, this is Eugene, Whiskey 2, Hotel X-Ray. Uh, I thought I'd give some signal reports. First, thanks to everyone who gave me a signal report. I don't. I would love to hear a report uh, from Al. I'm just curious how I'm making it to Jersey City. Uh, so, uh, uh, Walt, beautiful signal. Dale, beautiful signal. Really, really clear. The, the audio chain in that uh, transmitter is just super clear sounding. Gary, very low audio, poor copy, almost uh, unintelligible. Uh, KB2 LRI about S3, but uh, fully, uh, you know, full copy. KC8 KBK about six uh, S6, very nice audio. Ron, no signal, no copy whatsoever. Ron K3 TZJ K3 
KA3TIN on the highway. You sounded great from uh, Big Pocono. S5, very, very clear audio. John, EJT, uh, I'm sorry, Joe, EJT. S6, very clear, sounds great. Al, you are coming in beautiful, uh, beautiful, beautifully here to uh, Big Pocono. And, oh, by the way, uh, just a correction, uh, Walt, the KD2 FM should be KD2 Golf FM. So there's a GFM. Uh, unfortunately, Ken, I could not really make you out. Maybe about an S1 signal, maybe about 60, 50% copy. Ray, uh, I could, you got a good signal, but you were, I would say, significantly off frequency. I don't know, maybe it's, I'd say maybe 50 or 60 hertz or something like that, which is enough to hear you, uh, but not enough to make out what you're saying. Dean, beautiful audio, and that's it. Uh, my favorite radios, I would say, while I'm in my vehicle, I love my 5800H RF, the uh, Harris 5800H uh, with 150 watt amp. Uh, when I'm backpacking, I really love the Raycal Syncal 2000 uh, because it's got the, uh, the VFO knob, and it's just a, a compact, great, super easy to use little radio. Okay, back to net, W3A, W2HX. W2HX, this is Whiskey 3 Alpha. N3 FRQ, W Whiskey 3 Alpha. Can you give a signal report for Whiskey 2 Hotel X Ray? Were you able to copy him on Big Token? Over. Uh, yes, uh, W2HX. Uh, you're about S9 here in Jersey City. Good signal. Uh, so uh, you're, you're getting out really well. Good setup up there. Uh, sorry, I didn't get to see you, Eugene. Uh, back to you. All right, this is Whiskey 3 Alpha Net Control for the field exercise of the Moose and Squirrel Net. Uh, calling the last station on our list, uh, who is a threefer, we have Whiskey 3 Golf Romeo Delta. He is with November 3 Julius, yeah, Julius Zulu Echo and uh, Kilo 3 Oscar Papa. So, Gary, uh, take it away. To